I'm Diane. I'm Travis. And we've been best friends for about, going on about four years. That's right. Yeah. I grew up on a farm, and so I felt like I'd want to have urban environment. We're here to talk about the wonderful Sphinx Cat Oscar. <laughs> this is what happens when you hold Oscar. He's about five and a half years old. It was my cat. Origi yeah, it was her cat originally. I couldn't keep Oscar because of his behavior, his noise, and having people over and having him ruin shoes and clothes, and obviously he was not happy with me. The offer was thrown out there, would you like to take Oscar for a little while? And I thought, hey, what's a little while? I got tricked, and I went back and said, what are we gonna do? I can't take him, was the answer. I keep him, you know, two weeks a month and then pass him off to Diane when I, when I travel. Yeah. So yes, we have joint custody. Travis, he just went to the bathroom on the floor again. What are you going to do? We both adore Oscar. Um, he's a very unique animal, but he is also very hard to manage. Yeah, I bought this. If you have a cat that pees every now and then, it's great. But just running it two or three, four times a day. What's up, Bob? Oh, I know. It makes me extremely jealous the way that Oscar reacts to Travis. He was to Claude about five and a half years ago. He still gets me with his back claws. Already actually got my leg under my dress and no blood is showing through my dress. It's good cop, bad cop. He yeah. dis despises me because I do everything that it is to, to, to really take care of him. And then I come over here and I realize that he needs a bath. His ears are filthy. He's not a regular cat. No, I, the I think need a lot more need, care. We have different definition of what it is to take care of it. What happens to cats that don't get their nails trimmed every week? Do they die? No, I just think it's the right thing to do to take care of the animal. I think it's torture. My neighbors have come to my door and thought I was abusing um, a small child. He sounds like house. a baby that's being stabbed or cut. <laughs> he screams nonstop, bloody murder. So this is what it does. A lot of my work is from home. And so I do conference calls and everything. When he won't be quiet and just howls and howls and howls, then I irritate these people. So every 10 minutes that I have to go do something with the cat is costing the project. I think that we're really at a breaking point. I mean, if nothing changes, go ahead and put down. We need help. Help us, Jackson. Oscar, what are we going to do with you? 